So uh, today we plan. Today we plan to do the uh, follow up questions, and uh, uh, follow up questions are uh, first. Keyword is describe a long car journey you went on for a long you uh, you went on or a long car journey you remember well. Or a long car journey you remember well. Okay. Okay. So uh, this I'll do the follow ups with you. Uh, you can all answer, you know, um, one by one. Okay. Uh, what will cars be like in the future? Yes. What will cars be like in the future? Anybody, you can, you know, when one person starts speaking, the others should not then speak, but at least go ahead and start speaking. What will cars be like in the future? Yes. Yes, Priyansh. Uh, uh, cars will be uh, self-driving and uh, it will be connected to internet and uh, it will be uh, more comfortable. We won't be uh, having okay. to drive so, the cars. So, uh, Priyansh, yeah. Priyansh, listen to me. You know, cars cars you use plural then you are using it these okay and it is not self-driving they will be self-driven okay cars will be self-driven right i will try mom. yes what will cars be like in the future i mostly like so a car uh, electric car and drive uh, automatic uh, driverless car driverless yes. Driverless, driverless cars, yes, yes, okay, driverless cars, very good. Second question is, what is the difference between men's and women's preference on cars, Preeti? What's the difference between men's and women's preference on cars? Hello, hi. Please speak. Uh, man will love more economic cars and uh, uh, women will love more stylish and uh, other type of car. Men will love more economic cars. What do you mean by economic cars? Uh, I mean uh, economic, I mean fuel uh, consumption should be good, uh, the average should be good and uh, overall um, the right. maintenance should be low. Oh, and women will prefer stylish cars. And what is the example of stylish cars? Uh, I mean, uh, good design, good uh, model of the car and uh, how well does it uh, look on road and on that way. All right. Not bad. That's a good answer. Okay, good. Next question is, what are the differences between bicycles and private cars? Aman. I think. Ha, okay, Arti, Arti, you can start. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. What is the well, difference between bicycles and private cars? Yeah. Well, there are uh, several uh, differences between bicycles and uh, uh, private cars. Uh, first of all, bi bicycles are more cheaper as compared to the uh, private cars, and these are also very uh, convenient. Uh, when we talk about the private car, uh, we can. Uh, like uh, drive uh, in the rainy season or uh, it doesn't of, uh, affect uh, the uh, climate and um, and for uh, for riding a uh, bicycle we need uh, some physical strength uh, also uh, the uh, the woman who is pregnant and and the person who is disabled uh, can't ride a bicycle uh, uh, so uh, so for uh, those people uh, cars are very comfortable for them uh, you know it is not bicycle it is bicycle bicycle all right bicycle Aarti, uh, you you've answered pretty well with good confidence okay yes uh why do people like to have private cars I'm first of all people can let offer. other people answer let let everybody get a chance amrinda nice speak yes uh, people like private cars because they feel very comfortable on the cars. Most of, uh, on top of that, family members can go uh, uh, go together anywhere. Or uh, private cars are uh, stylish and uh, it's. Um, 
it's okay. you feel more comfortable uh, and private cars is plural right? see private cars is plural so these cheaper. are more comfortable okay uh, yes arti you made a mistake you said more cheaper more cheaper is wrong english many students say that uh, it is you know see cheaper cheap cheaper cheapest these are the three forms of adjectives uh, more uh, beautiful more beautiful most beautiful these are the three forms now you are using both together more cheaper would be wrong much cheaper you can say or just cheaper all right arti yes ma'am i uh, i realized after speaking <laughs> yes you realized on your own yes yes all right uh what are the differences between bicycles and private cars we've done this question yes ma yes ma'am okay. already is, is it a good thing that everyone has his or her own car may I? yes ma'am uh, there is nothing bad in that uh, everyone should have their own car because it gives them a sense of independence moreover they can everybody is Uh, has their own job, so they can go to their jobs with their own cars. But yes, it has some bad effects also. Like if everyone, like if we have seven members in the house, so not all the seven members can have their own cars because it will add to the depletion of resources also, and it will lead to the more pollution also. So But the see, people who are can lead can... to congestion on the roads. You know, parking uh -huh. space ही नहीं है, गलियाँ भरी पड़ी हैं कारों से. You go yes, to yes, yes. जो गलियां बहुत बड़ी बड़ी the streets which we found very very open and uh, big now seem very narrow because you know both yes, times, the cars are there and if a guest comes there is no place for the guest to park his car yes okay that is a that is a fact now okay of many big yes. cities all right so what benefit does public transport bring to the world what benefit does public transport bring bring to the world ma'am may I Yes, yes. Uh, public transport brings a lot of benefit to the world. The first and foremost is that it reduces the amount of pollution released by cars and other modes of transport. Another aspect is that public transport uh, is quite convenient for a larger population. So, uh, quite convenient. So, ये point नहीं बनता. Public transport is cheaper. You can say. it's okay. cheaper than going by own car okay uh, it is uh, you know then you know there is a less uh, because it carries many people so there is less emission comparatively if everyone will have their own car it will be more uh, there will be more pollution that is it and uh, what else can you say it adds it adds to the economy of the country i think yes it adds to the economy of the country yes yes it helps to save the fossil fuels yes it helps to save the fossil fuels good is yeah, it the pollution is it, is it too late for people to get their drivers license at the age of 18 should they get it sooner the question means should the driving license age be brought down from 18 to 16 or 15 or 14 yes anybody is it too late for people to have driving license at the age of 18 this is a question Yes, I think, ma'am, it's too late for the age of eighteen to get a driving license because most of the youngsters having the age of sixteen and seventeen can drive the car. So I think that they must be provided a license to run the car. All right. So eighteen is too late, and the license should be provided at a younger age. Yes, ma'am. So you know now, side by side, one of you can note down the guesswork for the essays also while I do the fo uh, follow ups. Please note down the guesswork for the essays. There is a there is a GT essay. Uh, in some countries, age of driving uh, is eighteen. In some, it is twenty five. Which is better in your you know this thing? So please mark that. Uh, the GT students mark that. You are going to see that essay in the coming uh, one or two or three months. All right, ma'am. Uh, I think it is the uh, best. Eighteen is a good age. It should yes, not yes. be brought down. Yes, because it is too young. You know, children yeah. are eighteen. It's yes, true. Yes. They can Every, be uh, they can go anywhere. Ah, don't yes, they, they on can be people. impulsive drivers. They they want to show off and then they don't you know um, care for the. They do not have sense of they driving. Don't, yes. don't depend on parents and. Yes, yes. Ma'am, they are also not mature enough. Yes. And yes. It leads to more accidents. Yes, definitely. Which jobs require people to be good at driving?
which jobs require people to be good at driving? Anjuman, Aarti, Arshdeep, Arshdeep. Yes. Priyansh, you can answer. Yes. Understand the question. Which jobs require people to be good at driving? Ma'am, may I? Yes. Uh, well, uh, I think uh, the jobs uh, that uh, require people to be good at driving is the job of delivery boy, uh, then the job of salesman, that uh, there are many salesperson, uh, they uh, want to uh, do the door-to-door uh, -door delivery. Uh, other than that, uh, I think, uh, you know, nowadays most of the job uh, require driving skill also uh, because uh, people uh, want to balance their time and work. So uh, I see uh, in my neighborhood, most of the teachers, uh, they drive car. Then uh, most of the job um, require, uh, you know, driving skill in today's world. Yes. So that's a good answer. You can say that even the taxi, private, public transport, you know, the Uber, Ola, they need to be very good at driving and uh, they need also to have a good sense of direction. Okay. And uh, most other jobs, people should be good at driving. Okay. Right. Uh, do you see driverless cars as the future of cars? Yes, definitely. Driverless car in the future because it is uh, no pollution. I don't think so. I don't see driverless cars as the future, but it doesn't matter. I mean, if you can answer your, if you can, it will take answer. away the jobs of many people. Uh, that that apart from that, you know, uh, in country like India, where people, you know, they they will do anything. They will overtake you from. They the drive over the foreign country, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, driverless car in the future uh, now uh, also driverless in. In, uh, in here in the on the roads, you know. Uh, uh, somebody has asked a very, very. Uh, well, what uh, is question. a driverless car? Um, I want to ask what is Automatic a driverless car? Actually? Driverless Automatic cars car. are self driven cars. Okay. They, they just start them and then go back and relax and even go off to sleep. Till it, till it's the destination, they will take you there. Automatic also mean uh, uh, same. No, way. automatic doesn't mean driverless cars. I have an automatic car. It doesn't mean a driverless car. Then it can't be the future of then it can't be the future of the country man, at all. Muskan, itna shor. Oh my god. All right. So uh, next next cue card is describe a book that you have read many times. Now the follow-ups of this question, uh, cue card. Do you prefer books or movies? Now there is there is a there is an essay I think in the GT book. Is it better to watch a movie or read a book for the story, knowing the story? So do you prefer books or movies, Manjeet, Amira, Amrinder, Anu? One, two, three. <laughs> so if students log in as one, two, three, I can't help calling calling them. One, uh, I can answer, ma'am. Yes. Okay, uh, I think uh, most of the people to, in today's uh, era uh, choose movies as they are uh, because they are picturized in, uh, to watch and uh, most of the people understand uh, picturized vision more than books. Uh, wow. Books have... Look at, listen to my question. Listen to my question once again, Amira. This mistake now you will not do in the exam. Ooh, my question okay, is, uh, my question uh, is, do you prefer books or movies? You are talking of people. You are not talking of yourself. It's a personal question to you. Okay. okay sorry, ma'am. Yes. Sorry, ma so it's better you uh, made this mistake here. You will listen properly in the exam now, actual exam. See, that's what I say. Make mistakes here so that you learn more. The more mistakes you make, the more you learn. Right? Okay, ma'am. I think uh, movies, uh, I prefer more, the, more than books. I prefer movies because I also understand more than books. Uh, movies, I can understand. And I take less time on movies. Uh, for books, for reading a book, it, time, it takes a lot of time. Hello. Our more time is wasted on books. I think so. All right. Uh, do you think yeah. it is important to read the book before watching the movie version of it? 
do you think it is important to read the book before uh, watching the movie version of it i don't think so because when we are watching a movie we can just uh, be curious what will be happening next if we are already read a book uh, we will be not curious to watch that movie we will be just uh, like a book reading uh, already we have read a book so just watching a movie for a fun like that all right so because we know the climax of the movie yes that is also there so there is no mystery but uh, you know, my one but you know uh, sometimes question. yes yes you know uh, do you prefer books or movie or uh, one explain kar sakte hain books ke uh, movie ka dono explain karna aapne apna you have to give your reply what you prefer you know i prefer books to movies you may prefer movies to books because when i read i it satiates my curiosity i imagine characters in my mind i love Uh, you know that imagination part the creativity part and when when the author writes a book author goes into every minute detail uh, that is written you know it's so easy and good to imagine that uh, situation and scenario but, but in in a movie it is all you know um, laid out in front of you and you don't no ma uh, explain both movie and books in no, only what movie. you like what you like and why that only you have to say okay 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 hmm. is it important to read the uh, to read a book before watching the movie it's not important but if you have read the book you sometimes enjoy the movie more and sometimes it happens vice versa you uh, you watch a movie and then you feel like reading the book also okay so Sam, this... there can be both ways to answer this like if we yes. have read the book and then we'll watch the movie it can bring our imagination to the reality yes will be yes, more yes yes ma'am uh हमने लाइक फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन में बोला कि लाइक हमें मूवीज पसंद है हाँ बट हमने सेकंड क्वेश्चन में बुक बोला तो नहीं नहीं है बुक नहीं बोला सेकंड क्वेश्चन है इज इट इम्पोर्टेंट टू रीड द बुक बिफोर वॉचिंग सो आई जिसने बोला था कि मूवीज पसंद है उसने तो यही जवाब दिया नो इट इज नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट हर आंसर इज करेक्ट okay yeah. yeah so it is not see every different student is answering the different question so if you are going to answer it as uh, you will answer the same thing in the second question also got it do yeah, boys and, do boys and girls like the same kinds of books ma'am may i yes may i ma'am i do think so that it taste preferences of boys and girls according to the books are same because i think that boys like most of the action books and girls like most of the fairy tale stories and the barbie dolls etc type books all right all right and girls also like uh, you know uh, magazine books and magazines, boys yeah, fashion always magazines prefer, and boys prefer story books yes so. what kind of books do indian people like to read what kind of books do indian people like to read priyash what is this display picture of your showing i think indians mostly uh, like to uh, was uh, read magazine type books uh, or else story books because so you know, just story... listen to me there's the india whenever this question comes to you whenever mm-hmm. any question on india comes to you you can begin it with a mugged up sentence and learn it correctly to speak you can say india is a diverse country it is difficult to generalize what kind of books indian people like to read some like to read this others like to read that you can say okay it it depends on personal preference for example you know you can say children like story books um, uh, society grown up uh, you know young adults they like um, you can say fantasy books and even grown up people like biographies and autobiographies okay and some people like to read religious books okay now is, is the answer seeming good you can and say that you, you, you can say that it is difficult to generalize india is a diverse country it is difficult to generalize okay this this answer you can begin with this line okay and right, when the right, question right. is on gender when the question is on gender you can say gender differences are disappearing both men and women like the same kind of books or the same kind of magazines you can say that it's a matter of personal preference huh? okay like uh, next uh, is ma'am in the in the follow ups ma'am can we just answer in just like couple of sentences yes but then they will be uh, you know cross questioning cross questioning all right okay ma'am 
या क्रॉस क्वेश्चनिंग होएगी सो प्लीज देर इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन इज देर एनी रूल दैट वी कैन नॉट स्माइल इन फ्रंट ऑफ द एग्जामिनर डज इट अफेक्ट द बैंड स्कोर <laughs> do you think there can be such a rule that you can't smile i don't think so ma'am oh, no ma'am no ma'am one of one of my students came and told me ma'am examiner was laughing and i was also laughing and we were both laughing and so, he was asking me the question and i was answering and i was laughing <laughs> so you know how much that student got 8.5 in speaking Ma'am, I think speaking session mostly depends on our fluency. They are all, they always watch our fluency only. Uh, not enough. We can just be fun with them, like, right, ma'am? But but grammar also matters a lot. Ah, ma'am, yes, I ma have a problem in the cue card of speaking. Which cue card? Ma'am, not a particular cue card. I can prepare the cue card myself. I'm very good, but the problem is that I speak too quickly. The speed is too much. How may I control it? Yes, you can control it. You can record and listen to your recording two, three, four times, and you will see. You will you will definitely work upon it in this way. Okay, speak again many, and again. Listen to your recording again has, and again. Many okay. of my teachers has told me that your speed is too much. They okay. also said me that there are no grammatical mistakes. Even they said that my speaking even, is even very in, good. In your in your two sentences that you spoken, every sentence has a grammatical mistake. either your teachers are not being able to catch those grammatical mistakes because of the speed that is a different yes, issue the examiner will surely catch them yes okay. ma'am so if you will reduce your speed you will not make the grammatical mistake you are making them because of speed you will not get a low score because of your grammatical mistakes you will get because when you will speak fast you will speak more and when you will speak more you will make more grammatical mistakes Okay. Yes. So you will have to yes. work on that. Every oh, sentence was, oh, she yes, said yes. to me, she told me, "Ona chahiye tha." Okay. And first sentence there was a grammatical mistake. All right. Idea, ma'am. Just thank you, ma'am. So your your teachers may not be able to catch those grammatical mistakes because of the speed. Okay. But examiners thank are you. examiners are trained to catch the grammatical mistakes, even if you are going at super fast to top the express. Okay, they will catch. Next, what can kids learn from books? Uh, who is this student, Chhatta Khan? Please mute yourself. I've muted you twice, and again it's unmuted, and it it really creates you know disturbance. So the next question is, what can kids learn from books? books are the foundation of the kids in the education they can start even learning from the infant stage when they grow up from a uh, infant to a small kid they start learning by seeing the pictures by looking at the pictures in the books and then they got admitted in the school in which they get the curriculum to read the books so books play an vital role in the development overall yes. development of so you know yes books when when children read it develops their overall Uh, personality it is uh, very good reading is very good for the holistic development of children it is being promoted a lot in the western countries you know and uh, okay next is uh, what kind of books do children like to read and why what kind of books do children like to read and why most of the children like to read i think uh, story books because it is all uh, picture uh, all pictures uh, uh most of the kids like colors every colors will be like different to them so they will be preferring more story books and uh, coloring books also i think so yes they prefer comics if they have you know you were you were saying but because they have pictures so comics have pictures so they prefer comics all right and they also prefer story books panchatantra and all which are based on animal characters children like those books it develops their creativity and they they make characters in their mind and they learn a lot okay uh, do you think reading books can make people happier it also depends ma'am because most uh, some people like books and some others like movies so if the uh, if uh, i have an younger brother and he likes most of the uh, more than movies he like books so our i think uh, it depends on the people Yes, it's a but you know if if people read, do you think it makes them happier? 
if they read so that is a question whether they read or not read is not the question the question is do does reading books make people happier ma'am may i answer yes uh yes reading books uh, does make people happier because uh, these act as a stress buster for for them after a hectic day also books keep them engrossed with their interesting stories and uh, people enhance their knowledge and imagination by uh, by reading the books yes you know i tell my students who are going abroad who are who are uh, you know applying for uh, your who are taking the ielts and they wish to go abroad i tell them develop the habit of reading books you will not feel homesick you know in a foreign country then once you go you and you don't know you are not in the habit of reading books then when there is lot of free time you really start feeling homesick so whenever i have told my students that they should develop the habit of reading my nephew went around in 2000 i remember around 2010 or 11 he went abroad for his higher education and i told him that he should develop the habit of reading books and he did and after one year or one and a half year when he came for the first time after like once going he he had read so many books and he didn't feel homesick at all over there he had you know he, he enjoyed his time over there so you know there was there are children who cry and miss their family and things but if you develop the habit of reading books they are the best companions okay what is yes. uh, uh they are the best books are the best companions all right now next is who or uh, why do people get nervous when they speak in public now this is an essay public speaking skills it is an essay in the gt book please consider it important and then there is an essay should children read books or should parents read books to them okay then there is an essay what is better for children watching uh, you know tv or reading books please do these essays they are guesswork okay they are guesswork next why do people get nervous when they speak in public asmatullah mm-hmm. want to answer gitta want to answer sure ma'am can i yes yes and what was the question question was why do people get nervous when they speak in public uh people get nervous when they spoke uh, when they speak in front of so many people because uh, because of lack of confidence one one of the reason should be lack of confidence and uh, and this this make them this make difficult for them to to confront those a crowd those crowded those big crowds yes, that they, it make be. this makes it difficult for them okay yeah <laughs> good answers no very good yeah you use some good word also with the great fluency all right how can they improve their public speaking skills ankita how can they improve their public speaking skills Pizza. All right. May I, ma'am? Yes, of course. Hey, ma'am. Ah. Uh-huh. Yes. They can. Ah, uh, people. Uh, sorry, pardon me. A uh, question. Ah, uh, how can people improve their public speaking skills? There public. is a number of way to improve. Ah, uh, speaking in public or. i uh, the first of all they can speak in front of the mirror so they can uh so they can see yourself how to they see speak themselves. and see themselves okay not your see themselves how to uh, how they speak and the second reason is the second reason is they can uh, uh. improve their knowledge uh, before before speaking Yes, you know why? Because people feel nervous because they have lack of knowledge of the subject, and then they, you know, they are afraid whatever the little knowledge they have, they might go wrong somewhere. So they they become nervous. If they have depth of knowledge of the subject on which they have to speak, they will definitely not feel nervous. One point. Second is they can join some communication classes, communication uh, uh, level classes, and then uh, that they can improve, right? Also practice on every day. Yes, they could. They should practice every day with a with a partner. 
okay yes, so they should start speaking with the family first of all yes yes of course what different kinds of speeches or lectures have you attended in your life what different kinds of speaking or lectures have you attended in your life no, i have attended i have attended spiritual lectures uh, are you there navjot are you there mandeep are you there jaydeep khushi kunal lovepreet malithya migal neet mehak so many students in the class today and they are not willing to speak wow i will ma'am yes actually i have attended um, uh, career guidance classes then personality development class also uh, at school i have attended many lectures that is related to uh, subjects uh, or my any, syllabus many lectures that is related or that are related to Oh, ma'am, how that uh, they will reduce my score. <laughs> yes, you are making these mistakes. Okay, yes, ma'am. Yeah, but yes. otherwise, it's it's quite good. Okay, that will not let you go an eight, but definite seven. You are speaking. Okay, seven and seven. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Ma'am, I have attended the spiritual lectures, which boosts my soul soul a lot because I am a spiritually enlightened person who believes in spirituality a lot. So I have attended the spiritual lectures. What is, what is spirituality? I don't understand. What is spiritual? <laughs> spirituality means to believe in truth and to believe more in humanity than to believe on the materialistic uh, ways of worshiping or to materialistic ways of uh, helping people. Yes, but we all, we all. I mean, I think like that, but I don't think I'm a very spiritual person. I mean, but um, the spiritual lectures uh, boost me a lot. Like. I like them. I like to attend the spiritual lectures. Okay. Uh, yes. Why? Why so do we... speech? What? What? All right. Uh, what qualities should these should visiting speakers have? What I think. Uh, uh, hmm. I think, uh, ma'am. Uh, ma Yes, Arti is speaking. Yes, she has begun the answer. Na, Arti, go on. Then the next question you will answer. Yes. What uh, qualities should visiting speakers have? I think uh, visit uh, visitors speakers have uh, different qualities. Like uh, they have uh, in depth uh, knowledge. Uh, okay. Which... Now, Arti, listen to me. My question is: What qualities should visiting speakers have? The Hindi is. विजिटिंग स्पीकर्स में क्या क्वालिटीज होनी चाहिए हिंदी में क्या जवाब दोगे कि उनमें ये क्वालिटी है उनमें ये क्वालिटी है कि होनी चाहिए बोलोगे होनी चाहिए तो आपने तो होनी चाहिए बोला नहीं दैट मेक्स योर आंसर वेरी वीक नाउ लिसन ऑल ऑफ यू देर आर एट मॉडल वर्ब्स इन इंग्लिश ओनली एट कैन यू सी माई एट फिंगर्स हेयर इंक्लूडिंग कैन वुड विल वुड मे माई शैल शुड ओनली एट Okay, not eighty, not eight hundred, not eight thousand. Only eight. These modal verbs are very important for you all to learn. There is a video I've made on the modal verbs. It is there on my YouTube channel. Ah, uh, only what you require for the IELTS. Very small video. Go through it. If you will not use the modal verbs, you will never go above a six. If you will use them wrongly, you will never go above a five point five. Six or above six, correct use of modal verbs is a must. Whenever the question has a modal verb, the same modal verb should be put in the answer. You will not go wrong. I'll tell you what I mean. How may I address you, ma'am? You may address me as Mohini. How should I address you? Should you should address me as Mohini? How can I address you? You can address me as Mohini. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Whatever modal verb the question has, please put that in the answer. Otherwise, the answer will have a different meaning. Like I explained in Hindi, speakers may kya attributes hone chahiye? Aap keh rahe ho speakers mein ye attribute bhi hai, ye bhi hai, wo bhi hai. Agar hai to fir hone chahiye ka kahan gaya question? Got it, Arti? Yes, ma'am. that made your answer very weak okay just ignoring the modal verb is very dangerous 
Okay. Next okay. question. Uh, why do many people find it hard to give a talk to young children? Yes, Navjot. Ma'am, may I? Yes. <clears throat> Ma'am, I think that most of the people hesitate to talk to the young children because they are lack of confidence and moreover, they think that they do not have much knowledge as compared to the young children because young children have nowadays a lot of knowledge more than the adults. No, I don't think this, this is what the question means. See, young children se zyada knowledge most adults ko hoti hai. Okay. The question is, why is it difficult to give a speech to young children? Because young children don't have uh, a very good attention span. It is very difficult yes, to keep them by, uh, bound yes, to the lecture. They are not attentive. They are not, they are attentive. not attentive. It is, yes, Kirti, you are a teacher. So you can say that, right? Yes, yes. Mama, it is. They are not attentive. Yes. Mama and, thought that the question so, is why people hesitate to talk to young children. Oh, it's not hesitate. See, my question did not have the word hesitate. My question was, why do many people find it hard? They don't hesitate. They find it difficult. Hesitation is aage badke bolna. Bolna to wo hesitation nahi hai unme, par unko mushkil lagta hai. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes. Uh, how, how does media relate to the speech to children in school? Ye question hi thoda ajeeb hai. How does media uh, relate to the speech to children in schools? I, this question is a bit, you know, uh, ambiguous. You know what is ambiguous? Meaningless. No, that's a wrong meaning of ambiguous. Okay, ma'am. I don't Complex. know. <laughs> ambiguous is not clear. Okay? Clear, not clear. Uh, clear nahi hai. You know, it's not clear. What you want to say is not clear. There's no clarity. Ambiguous question is me. Deko question kya hai? How does media relate to question this? is not clear to us? Please. Yes, it is not clear at all. Right? Media shape uh, children's maybe like that, ma'am. The question is question is how does media relate to the speech to children? Jo answer in on a lika woman padum, Mary team ne. Let us see if that fits in, that makes sense. Media plays a very important role in everyone's life these days. The speeches given to children in school can be published in newspapers or broadcast on TV, which further helps to spread the message or awareness among other school children. So media, you know, when, when somebody, one person gives a speech to children and that speech is published in the media, then other children also, um, you know, get that knowledge from that speech, right? That is it. Confidence. Yes. What benefits does the internet bring to communication? What benefits does the internet bring to communication? Internet brings a lot of benefits to the communication, ma'am. Today, there are a lot of uh, apps available by which we can connect with the people living far from us. We can connect even to the people we don't know so it let uh, it has so many benefits uh, for yes. the communication very good uh, what kind of people often give speeches what kind of people often give speeches in my have opinion have, uh, who have in depth knowledge and who have uh, uh, confidence and uh, uh, these people uh, like to give their speech. Politicians? Like politicians. And celebrities. Without having, business, even without having knowledge. Motivational speakers, teachers also. Teachers, on the yes. Anybody. Okay. Teachers, yes. Celebrities. Now, people who are at higher tires uh, <laughs> give speeches and they have uh, a lot uh, huge impact on the listeners very good how important it's is the next tire? question how important is it to be a good listener when coming what is tire tires is you know the levels the strata uh, i'll open the dictionary wo to tier nahi hoga na dekhte hain
Here. Tear. It's not tire, it's tear. Okay. A row or layer of something that has several rows or layers placed one above the other, one of the several levels in an organization. It's tiers. Okay. The seating is arranged in? The seating, the seating is arranged in tiers. Tiers. All right. We have introduced an extra yes, tier for administration. So, tears, right? Shallow. Ma'am, like in Indian pronunciation, we use tear on that one. Tear. <laughs> Indian pronunciation. Now, pronunciation is also Indian pronunciation. It's not pronunciation, Miguel, it's pronunciation. 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 Essence. Huh? Essence. What? Canadian essence. Abhi se start with Canadian essence. No. Essence. Accent. 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 You know, I, I in my offline class, I've started ten words every day of vocabulary. Okay, my faculty prepares them, and they are doing a very good job of it. Very, very good job of it. And usme hamne ye wale accent. Accent. I told my students, those who will say accent as accent. They will, when, when they see a car hit a bicycle, they'll say, I saw an accident. Okay. Would you like to say accident? Or would you like to say accident? Accident. So if you want accident. to say accident, then you must say accent. You should say, you know, that is A double C E N T is accent. Okay. Accent. A S C E N T is ascent. Listen, a, a double S E N T is ascent. Okay. okay. A, ha. So A double C E N T is accent. Okay. That is accent. All these words meanings we are doing. Okay. And uh, in the class, offline class, those 10 words a day. And the students are really, my teachers, faculty is really doing a good job. Okay. Uh, now we'll come to the other uh, next cue card and the follow ups are. What kind of shops are popular in your city? What kind of shops are popular in your city? Anaya? Anu? What kind of shops are popular? Grocery shops, bakery shops, uh, retail shops, textile shops. Very good. No, no. Mobile shops. So you can say clothing shops are popular. Ma'am, may I? Outlets. Outlets. Ma yes. Ma'am, I used to oh. live in Ludhiana, and which is famous for the hosiery goods, and most of the hosiery shops are famous in Ludhiana. Okay, you used to live. Now you live where? Ma'am, Fagwara. Now you live in Fagwara? Yes, ma'am. Uh, who, who ships from Ludhiana to Fagwara? ऐसा कुछ नहीं मैं तो मजाक कर रही हूँ बिकॉज बिग सिटी से स्मॉल सिटी आते मैंने कम ही लोग देखे ओके ऑल राइट डू यू थिंक लोकेशन इज द की फैक्टर दैट अट्रैक्ट कस्टमर्स मैंने लिखे हैं ये आंसर्स ओके आई हैव रिटन दीज आंसर्स यस सो मैंने उसका आंसर लिखा है व्हाट काइंड ऑफ शॉप्स आर पॉपुलर इन योर सिटी ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ शॉप्स आर पॉपुलर इन माय सिटी देयर आर बिग शॉप्स एंड स्मॉल शॉप्स अ न्यू मॉल इज ओपनिंग इन वेरी सून इन द सबर्ब्स कुछ भी लिखो सारी तरह की शॉप्स पॉपुलर ठीक है व्हाई डू यंग पीपल एंजॉय गोइंग टू सम बुटीक्स हां ये क्वेश्चन मैंने मिस कर गई व्हाई डू यंग पीपल एंजॉय गोइंग टू सम बुटीक्स हु विल आंसर दिस Ma'am, may I? Yes. Ah, uh, young people enjoy going to boutiques as they um uh, as they're highly influenced by the social media and they are always up to uh, following the trends and therefore they can get their clothes stitched as per their preference and their liking. Very good. Do you think location is the key factor that attracts customers? yes definitely uh, location plays a very vital role uh, mm -hmm. for instance uh, uh, one e store uh, open in my city which is 
uh, very popular because my city is of tier one. However, the uh, these similar stores are open in tier two and tier three cities uh, are not much popular because uh, they uh, the people lived there love to uh, love to visit these stores which are uh, cheaper compared to these stores. So location is the key factor while opening any new stores. So cheaper ka point mat lao na. People in small cities, even if that outlet is there in their city, supposing there is an outlet of Nike. Nike shoes in my city. I will still like to go to a big city to the Nike store because I think in big cities the store will have more variety. That is my thought, right? So location right. matter. And if any store is on the main road, it will attract more customers. If it is in the interior, it will attract less customers. Okay. As to the right. still area. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, definitely. Hmm. Location does matter. If location uh, does matter. Open, See, there, uh, there, there is nothing area. like there is nothing like a short answer or a long answer in the follow up questions. The examiner will ask cross question you in the follow up questions. Okay, be prepared for cross questioning. Okay, and every question will have why, why, why after that. Okay, <laughs> so one of my students came after the exam and says, "Ma'am." I, my exam got very, went very well. I answered all the questions. Ma'am, the examiner did not have to say bye-bye to me. I said, what? What? Bye-bye? He says, yes, ma'am. I was answering all the bye questions side by side. So examiner did not have to say bye-bye even once. Did you, uh, do you understand what it what? what? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes. Why? So, yes. In Punjab, all words are buzz and all buzz are words. Okay? So if you have to say which way the wind blows, it will be which way the wind blows. It's all buh, 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 buh. Okay? <laughs> and so this is very, very... And you know, every state has such problems. You go to the south, their pronunciation is different. Go to Gujarat side, their pronunciation is different. So they pronounce English words also in their own style. In Punjab, they pronounce English words in their own style. All the burrs are burrs. Okay? So, you know, I'll just teach you one thing. B, 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 A, B. Unless you join the lips, the pronunciation of B will not be correct. If you have to say but, if you don't join your lips, the pronunciation will come out as what. So, do you have to say what or but? If you have to say but, you have to purse your lips. Only then the correct pronunciation will come up. Got it? And if you have to say a word of V, victory, van, these teeth should touch the lower lip. Victory, van, viceroy. Okay, vision. If you have to say a word with W, you have to round your lips. Water, why, what, where. Got it? So this is the key to good pronunciation of the W, V and Y. My laptop battery is going to die and there is no current right now at home. So I'm going to end the meeting here. As it is, it is 9.57 p.m. Uh, rest uh, we'll do tomorrow. Okay, then. See you. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.